Remember the movie White Men Can't Jump? Don't want to disappoint you, my dear humans, but compared to us, it's just men can't jump. And if there are exceptions, certainly G-O-A-T is one of them. So, here's a story about how humans do what they do best since they can't jump. Exploit everything and make tons of cash out of it. In 1984, Sonny Vaccaro, an executive of basically no need to exist Nike's basketball department, trusts his guts and places all his bets on the fact that the young North Carolina guard is a once in a generation talent, we love this game by the way, and sets an entire operation to convince both Nike and Michael Jordan himself to spend the full Nike's budget in order to create a shoe that would advertise him and of course the other way around, with the most difficult part being to outrun the much cooler and deep-pocketed at the time Adidas and Converse. We all know how that story goes, right? MJ approves the project of the movie, with his only request being that his mother Dolores will be played by Viola Davis. And boy, was he right! From the moment she appeared on the screen, the film got the depth and respect it lacked by the gathering of a bunch of white fellows in another American corporative success story. She was simple, she was solid, she was astonishing, she was the Queen Richard. And Mr. Affleck did good, a trustworthy cast, brilliant cinematography, uplifting and well-written dialogues, the choice of not showing MJ's face, the inspiring prophetic Sony's monologue and the 80s montage in the opening scene, cause let's admit it, everybody loves the 80s. He did so good that you actually get carried away like it's done in successful advertisements by the larger than life deal with the fantasy and the personal potential of greatness by stepping in those magic shoes and the dreams they represent that you in fact forget you are watching a commercial yourself in this crowd-pleasing feel-good triumph of capitalism. opinions matter, so please subscribe.